I was up there. I spoke to the staff. Okay. Uh, you're not welcome up there in the office. Okay? Oh, they didn't mean tell me that. So, well, I'm, I know, but I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> David Menzies for Rebel News here in Mississauga, and I'm at the constituency office for Liberal MP Omar Agabra. We're just here to find out where he sits on this nasty issue of Hamas terrorists going into Israel last Saturday and massacring more than a thousand uh, Israeli citizens and others. And we are here, folks, because Mr. Elgabra has a very sketchy record when it comes to supporting Islamist causes. For example, years ago, he condemned Ken West papers for labeling Hamas and Hezbollah as terrorist organizations, even though his own federal government labels these two groups as terrorist organizations. Um, he criticized once a, a Toronto police chief for taking part in a Walk for Israel event. Let's see, he mourned the death, of course, of PLO leader Yasser Arafat, and um, he was actually disappointed that the province of Ontario would not permit the use of Sharia law. Can you imagine Sharia law in our great dominion of Canada? So the question arises, is Omar al-Gabra a closet Islamist? And in light of the horror that we witnessed last weekend, is he denouncing Hamas and Hezbollah as terrorist organizations, or does he still support them? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. We'll uh, ring the doorbell here because the door is locked and we know there are staffers in there. Maybe even Omar himself is in there uh, hiding under the couch. Who knows? Uh, let's find out. Hello? Yeah. Hi there. Hello? Get your name, sorry? Uh, yes. Uh, my name is David Menzies with Rebel News and I'm just here to find out in light of what happened in Israel on Saturday, does Omar al Gabra still support Hamas and uh, Hezbollah? Is Mr. Al Gabra in the office? Well, that's odd. I did hear a voice on the other side of the door asking for my name, so I don't know if she's getting someone to speak with me or maybe Mr. Algabra himself. Oh, the light went out. I don't mean to be rude, but maybe I'll ring the bell again. <laughs> Hello? So how's this for transparency, folks? The door is kept locked. Uh, they've got a type of glass that you cannot see into the office. We do know there are people there. And there is a note here from Mr. Omar El Gabra himself, dear constituents, please note that our office is closed for walk-ins. We are accepting in-person visits on an appointment-only basis. To book an appointment, he gives a phone number and he gives an email. Uh, for us, there's no sense phoning or emailing. We never get a return call from any liberal. Uh, but how is this for transparency? How is this for being accountable to your constituents? It's this is locked down like some bunker. Um, that's just absolutely amazing. Well, folks, get this. It's almost an hour past quitting time, and Omar Al Gabra staff has not come out of the office. In fact, they're not even in uh, loudspeaker communication with us. Uh, they are literally in hiding. Uh, they are terrified of our impolite and insensitive questions, but I think they're important questions. I think when we have a member of parliament on record as supporting Hamas and Hezbollah, 
surely it's incumbent upon him, given what happened last weekend, to course correct that stance, or heck, maybe Omar al Gabra doesn't care. He is on the side of terrorism. It's absolutely shocking. The silver lining, Omar al Gabra will not be seeking re-election whenever that federal election is called. Gosh, good riddance. Well, folks, can you believe it? More fuel on the fire in terms of the idea that Canada is becoming a police state. We came back to the front door of the office tower here, and there's one, two, three Peel Regional Police Cruisers. Now, surely they're here for another matter. Surely there was some actual crime happening, but no, can you believe it? They, Omar El Gabra's staff called the police on us. Evidently, they found us to be threatening. Here, check out my interaction uh, with the police officer uh, who said that, well, Omar's people, they don't want us here anymore. So I was up there, I spoke to the staff. Okay. Uh, you're not welcome up there in the office, okay? Oh, they didn't mean to tell me that. So, well, I'm, I know what I'm telling you, okay? <laughs> okay. So uh, they felt threatened by your presence. So, it's, yeah, uh, so how's that? So listen, I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> okay. okay, they have asked for you not to go into the office there, okay? So I, I'm, they are going to speak to Lisgar property about, because this is their building, yeah. about having some trespass authorities that you won't be welcome inside this building, okay? Okay. Okay. It, it's, um, so, the thing listen, is, I, officer- I'm not here to comment anything else. I got nothing oh, else to say. No, no but uh, I just want to correct the record, sir. Yeah. We never got into the office. That's fine. We had a, com a communication with somebody on the other door yeah. through the speaker, okay. and she said, who are you? And I identified myself. Okay. And uh, we were there just there to find out if Omar Al Gabra is still a supporter of Hamas and Hezbollah. Okay. And no. yeah. Okay. Well, okay. there's going to be different avenues for you to do that, but coming to his office isn't that. Okay. okay. So you have to find a different way. So there you go. Uh, isn't this just amazing? Um, you know, Omar Al Gabra, as I said earlier, he is a fan of Sharia law. I think we have almost a little version of Sharia law light here. The idea that if you ask an insensitive or impolite question, you are going to have the police called on you. And the fact of the matter is, three police cruisers, I'm telling you, in Peel Region, they've got everything from homicide to carjacking to rape to human trafficking. And this is the turnout. This is absolutely shocking and a complete waste of police resources. But once again, folks, this is your blackface liberal government in action. As the death toll continues to rise in Israel, are you as disgusted as we are in terms of that barbaric act of terrorism that happened last Saturday? If you are, folks, please go to canadastandswithisrael.com. That's CanadaStandsWithIsrael.com. That's our newest petition. Please take time to go to that website and put your name on that petition.